Hi, it's Steve from Pirate Select. In this video, we'd like to show you an easy and inexpensive way to clean or repair the groat on your tile. To keep your groat looking new and fresh, we suggest that you do a regular cleaning at least once a week. In high humidity areas, you'll want to try to control the dampness, especially in bathrooms, using either a fan or a dehumidifier. And you should also try to use a groat sealant to help protect your groat and keep it lasting longer. Now one of the first things that we're going to cover is how to clean the groat on your tile. You can use a commercially available product that is specifically designed for the type of groat that you have, or you can use a home-based solution of simply using one part water and one part white vinegar. With the home-based solution, we suggest that you mix it well, apply it to the groat, and allow it to sit for about 10 minutes, and then clean it gently with a bristle brush. There are specifically made brushes for cleaning grout, or you could simply use a toothbrush. Another home-based solution will be to use a half a cup of baking soda, about a quarter of a cup of hydrogen peroxide, and a teaspoon of dish soap. Mix well, apply it to the grout, again, allow it to sit for five to 10 minutes, and then clean it with the brush. Once you're done the cleaning, we want to rinse well with water and then wipe dry with a sponge. Now, if you have some really stained or damaged groat, you'll need to repair it. Now, some of the supplies that you'll need to repair groat will be some protective gloves, protective eyewear. We suggest a dust mask as well. You'll want some groat cleaner, a groat saw or rake. You'll need some sponges, a groat float, and some clean towels. Now, if you don't have any of the original groat used on your floor, your first step will be to clean the groat thoroughly using a commercial groat cleaner. Then you could properly color match it with a new groat. Once you've done that, we'll next need to remove the old stained or damaged groat using a groat rake. Use caution while operating that groat rake so that you don't damage the edge of your tile. Now that we have all of the damaged groat removed, we'll next take a damp sponge and we'll clean this area up, making sure that we remove any of the groat residue that is stuck to the edge of those tiles. Now with most cement based groats, you can dampen that area before you apply your new groat. For epoxy based groats, the area needs to be dry, so make sure that it dries thoroughly before you apply that type of groat. Now if you have a large amount of groat to apply and need more than one package, you should dry mix those thoroughly before adding any water. That way you're ensured that you get a proper color match. And then mix your groat according to the manufacturer's instructions. Now once our groat is thoroughly mixed, we're ready to apply it. If we're only doing a small spot like this, we simply need to put the groat somewhere on that groat line, and then we'll take our groat float, and then we'll work that down into that area to make sure that it fills it completely. Again, making sure that we work it firmly into that gap. Now once we have that worked in well, we can then take a rounded stick or simply your fingertip and smooth out that groat line. And then we'll take a dampened sponge and wipe off any excess. Avoid using too wet of a sponge as that will dilute the groat and it won't set up as well. Now we're just going to let that dry You'll eventually see a little bit of a haze around there, which is some excess groat. Again, we can combine about a half an hour and just take a damp sponge and wipe that off. Now, once we've removed all of the haze, we'll allow that to set long enough to dry according to the manufacturer's instructions, and then we'll apply a groat sealer. Now, when applying your groat sealer, make sure you have full coverage. Be sure to wipe up any excess. Allow that to set for 60 to 90 minutes before you apply a second coat. 
and then allow it to dry for 24 hours before it comes in contact with any kind of moisture. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that the tips we shared with you today will help you when it comes time to clean the grout on your tile. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. And hey, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Mm -hmm.